Start recording. Okay, we're playing no ban list. Oh, yep. Missed that. We got no ban list Jund against no ban list Infect. So he's in a lot of trouble because we're just going to punish him, fire him out of the game. So I'm actually just going to hold up here because he can kill me. I don't think he's going to be able to kill me through Punishing Fire as long as we're patient. What is this? He's going to muddle while he's peering. Okay. All right, let's ponder, okay? I'm going to be sad not playing that Bob, but we can just lose to Blazing Shoal. And I'll just Punishing Fire him at the end of the turn. Start the clock. Preordain. It's kind of a weird preordain art. Oh, thank you very much, Johnny. I appreciate the support. Going upstairs with the old punishing fire. And we are back. So I don't think that, like, I, I, I'm not sure Nilla can beat me here. Like, we're just going to, like, Punishing Fire good against creature decks. We are on Jen at the moment. That's what the Stream Decker says, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess. Twin is sweet, dude. Twin is very sweet, Johnny. So I think we're just going to sit behind, get Punishing Fire back, and then just, like, grind him out of the game. The twin matches were a lot of fun. I would play that again. I would play against you again. That was fun. It felt like you bodied this Jun deck. Maybe this deck's just like a little too slow. I mean, we're slow right now. Like, Nilla could get us here, theoretically. So I think I'm just going to bring back the Punishing Fire, but not use it, because the plan's Bob. Patrick Dickman was streaming. Laws. All right, so we're going to let him get in. He could easily just kill me. Okay, so how does this work? Yes. And then, like, hope he doesn't have a counter spell. Patrick Dickman did back in the day. He just muddled it. Yep. Yeah, I was just like too slow. Him, him, uh, misstepping that thought seize was pretty big game. So we want another thought seize. I don't think. I actually don't think we really want blood red elf. We want collective brutality. Um, we probably don't need like all of our goifs. Let's cut these. I'm going to assume that Knight of Souls Betrayal is the stones. We probably can cut some number of Inquisitions.
Well, we'll have our discard, I guess. Liliana is kind of slow, but it's probably fine on the play, right? Like we know we can we can deal with it on the play. Sort by converted mana cost. Command kills Spellskite. Plus the game's always like all games like playing against combo decks, they always slow down. Um afterwards. They always I mean they always slow down post board. Um I don't think I want this. I still think Tarmac Wave's like where I want to be. We're just gonna submit. Here we got one Tarmac Wave. Basically anything we get we put together is gonna kill him. <laughs> Whether it's Liliana, Death Right Shaman, Bob, Knight of Souls Betrayal. We will lead off. His hand's only got one land. I don't think I can keep this one. I'm going to ship this. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep this. If he gives us an opportunity, if, like, if we put a land, we're going to try to put a fetch land on top. No, we don't want this goif. Huh, <laughs> like Canada, New York? So is Johnny is from Canada, New York as well. What are the odds? Flooded Strand. Crack it. Crack it so I can play a Bob. I had a bunch of friends from Rochester. Come on. Oh, let me put on my music here. Let me get this over here. Ponderosa. So now at least we're going to be able to get a Bob down. And it's going to be, I don't think he's going to be able to kill. He's not going to be able to handle Bob very well. And hopefully Bob undoes our mulligan. We just need resources. Is the volume too loud? So I guess now I'm just going to play this Bob and then probably just attack with Death Ride Shaman. There's really no point in eating a land because he set so far off dig anyways. Then hopefully we can just flip out of this. Hold this Knight of Souls betrayal until he plays a threat because I don't want to lose my Bob. I kind of just want to like grind out as much value with this Bob as I can and then wait until he makes me get rid of it. I would love to find a whatever it is, um, a Grove of the Burn Willows. I'm going to eat on my main phase more than likely because I want to be able to, like, excuse me, slow him down from dig through time. Now I guess we'll go like this. All right, spell speed. Cal get instant source. We'll take this. He's going to be able to dig next turn. And again, I think I'm just going to attack with both. Yo, what is this? What are they doing to me? You're killing me, Nightbot.
coming in here. He can tap out and dig if he wants. Okay, he found an ink moth. So there's that. There's Spell's Guide. Okay. So he still has Dig, Muddle. Okay. I don't think he can beat Knight of Souls Betrayal. one of his cards. He would have to go like perfect perfect to kill me. So let's go here. If you don't think it spells has to get a pretend, you are wrong. I think I'm gonna go right up with this Liliana. Just start to strip the resources out of his hand. Discard, probably Punishing Fire, because we can like get it back at some point. Then just hope he doesn't kill me here. We can Edict next turn when we have mana available from the Shaman to use to like pump to punk out one of his creatures. So I think I like doing this, just finding a way to trade cards here. I really want to find a land to use this Knight of Souls Betrayal. And this Liliana should do some work. He ditched a peer through depths. So we know his hand. There's no way we're dying next turn. We're not gonna chump check him. I'm not gonna chump check my friend. I think they are type two, so I haven't looked. Notice this a dig. I do need to be careful if he digs. Yeah. So there's dig. At least next turn we can get two cards, two cards out of the hand if we want to. Yeah, I know what type two is. It wasn't. It hasn't been called type two since I played it, but I do know what it is called. Six cards. All right, flooded strands. I know he's still got a delta. Celestial Colony never goes out of style. You know, whatever. Jo Johnny, John Brissett's a lover of colonnades as well. You guys would get along. He is a lover of it. No, I, I, I play decks to just straight up lose to... Celestial Colonnade. That is the one. The one card I can never beat. Okay. So now, this kind of Souls Betrayal is looking a little awkward. What I can do is I can Edict, Crack, play another Bob. The dig was so disappointed. I guess I can look first. Let's see what he's got going on. But if, if you got Night of Souls Betrayal, I'm not doing anything, right? 
But maybe he just can't beat that card anyways. I'm just going to Edict. Get this out of the way. And then hold up a Terminate. Alright, we'll do that next turn. I'm just enjoying all of my card draw, Johnny. Alright? Playing with Bob is fun. Maybe, maybe he's got a way to deal with it. There's the Delta we knew about. Okay, so he's got Muddle. Okay, there's Blighted Agent. All right, so now we're definitely gonna throw the, uh, throw the old Knight of Souls Betrayal out there and win the game. I'm pretty sure in this format, Knight of Souls Betrayal is really good. Because isn't that like elves a thing? Non Hive Master Elves? What do you, what's non Hive Master mean, Archmage? So with top bottom. Oh, there we go. So I guess I might as well just edict this. If I edict this here. Yeah, he's just saying that's game. But the proper play is to play Souls, then Edict, and then get everything off the board. So I can't beat Punishing Fire this turn. But yeah, I mean, we're just going to go like this. Now every time he animates a creature, he dies. Yeah. I guess I could just go bing, bing. Yeah, I see what he was talking about. It. I see what we're talking about. Well, no. Punishing Fire. No, I messed up because I was thinking Punishing Fire with, like, the Grove was the math that I was doing. But that still didn't work. Because it gained life. So I was like, Punishing Fire plus Dirtle. So Umazawa's Jitte is actually probably good, right? And then I'll bring in all the missteps. And probably Coastlex Returns not bad on the draw because we don't want Liliana. Yeah. Yeah, that was just being dumb. Like, I just, like, missed, missed the line there of, like, I was thinking, like, Shaman Shaman. Or not Shaman Shaman. Fire Fire. And we did not need Fire Fire. Alright. So there's nothing really special about this hand. But I do have a Punishing Fire and Erupt Keg. So I guess I'm going to keep it. And if he doesn't have like a discard spell, he's in trouble. Ponderosa. Don't mental mist at me. The snow band stuff's been fun. Might might do this some more. Maybe we'll start like a league. A league would be pretty sweet. Let's go here. Don't mental mist at me. What a jerk. They'd probably do it. I mean, I've been I when I was applying for sponsorships, I was talking to mana traders about all this stuff, and maybe they'd be down. All 
Oh, what a guy, Johnny. GC Brissett here. Well, with the – did you just resub, Johnny? I didn't see it. We'll open up a chest for you. Well, let's open up one of these. For Johnny. Ten, a guy that's cradle? How do you spell it? G A E A S. Oh, shoot. E Price. G A E A. Oh, God, I'm excited. Yeah. 15. It's 15 tickets right there. All right, Bob, we don't need a land. Um, I guess I'll just play this tap land. Well, now I'm going to play this in case he tries to blood moon me. That's awesome. Thanks for the sub, Johnny. This game's gonna get weird. Like I'm just gonna lose I'm just gonna lose this game to this Ink Moth Nexus. I don't remember if he was playing it or not. Wow, this is the only fetchable hand I have left. Should have known that. All right, well, there's something. Don't miss that, my dude. Okay, nice. I think this deck was made for like he got it. He got it from a lit from something. I can't remember what it was. He got it. He got it from a list from a, a no ban modern tournament. What do I want? I need like I need a Bob or a Grove of the Burn Willows. Pretty bad. At least he's still dirtling, like. This jump deck is not not really not um impressed me so far. Double ink moth. If he attacks me with this, I'll just punish him fire it at the end of the turn. Okay. Pass through. God. I would like to eat something on the main phase, but he can still dig anyways. Because it wasn't that good when over band decks happens. What do you mean over? What do you mean, Johnny? Are you saying this deck wasn't very good when it was banned? I think this deck was very good when it was banned. Well, Chromebox doesn't necessarily... Uh, To land, Lund, land, Jund. All right, well, I've got a decay target. Well, 
when yeah i don't know what you're just not you're not typing with any sort of coherency there johnny when over font when over unfair decks around john wasn't a dog until ban list yeah it's like i don't really know what you're saying Decay this, because we got to decay something. Are you talking about, like, first tournament? Like, Jund wasn't good? God. Yes, PT. The only, well, the only fair deck that did well in PT Philly was the counter zoo deck, right? The deck that like Brian Kibler made. Lava man. Probably have to punishing fire that. Cause like I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll take a draw step, but But I'd be willing to bet there's a very high percentage chance that I hit this that I gotta get rid of this thing. Alright, so we can take the Pierce. So he's just got this. No, take the Blighted Agent, excuse me. So you got Preordained, Spell Pierce, Spell Pierce, Blasphemous Act. So this gets me a Forest, so I can Punishing Fire this. And then pay for it. Okay. So one of these is not there, the Spell Pierce. I think he's got Preordained Spell Pierce, Blasphemous Act. So now I just gotta hope that he doesn't find anything, and then I can go eat, eat, and I hit him for four, he goes down to one. So if I find like a grove or something. All right, that's not good. He's just not attacking because he's he's afraid of what like I've got probably. Against the infect deck. Yes, sir. Alright, preordain. Yeah, this card's not reasonable. Then I think we get our forest, which is our last fetchable land. I didn't end up playing a stomping ground because I played three Grove of the Brand Willows. Yeah, that's our last fetchable land. Oh, that could be good. So now, it's going to kill my own Shaman. But I'm pretty sure that I don't fire up with Ravine. Field of Ruin for on Eggbluff Nexus. That'd be the dream, right? Because we're currently winning this race. And we've even got... Because we know all of his cards. So even if he finds the card that kills me, we can get him. Yeah, so we're, we're, gonna, we're both just flooding out atrociously. So we got Ravine. So next turn, I think I can actually smack with Ravine and hold up Kozilek's Return slash Shaman. Okay, now we're good. So now do I even want to... One, two, three, four... Now I think we just pass, and we just, like, get, like, we're going to tax his mana a lot. He can't fetch here. 
Yeah. Peering on the main phase. Serum Visions. Wow, he has that many cantrips in his deck. Okay. So now I just eat with Shaman. We eat a card. We then attack with Ravine. He has to chump. Then we... I should have got Punching Fire back that turn. That was stupid. That works too, right? Shatter Shock. No, we can't put any little dicky on Johnny. We put these on YouTube. And YouTube will, will tweak. All right. Okay, so let's get back over here, and I will challenge him with Death Shadow. So let me go stop for 